We near the lower city of Baldur's Gate. There we met the symbol of Gortash. Steel watchers, poking plates of metal and gears, shadowing over the freedom of every Baldurian. A fight would have broken out if not for the Iron Hand Gnome's timely intervention. Our investigation for Father Lorgan Slayer began in the Flophouse. There, Asterion met his siblings, and through some careful intimidation, wrung them dry for information. In the attic, we found a corpse, the mother of the assassin. That dwarf's depredations knows no bounds. This led us to Shares' caress. There we met Investigator Valeria, who directed us to Constable Devella in the Lower City to continue our hunt for the ballless dwarf. In the many rooms of the caress, each promising their own whimsy and pleasure, we encountered Raphael. His honeyed words promised liberation. We need only obtain the crown that controls the Elder Brain. In exchange, we gain a hammer, one that has the power to free Orpheus. Nearby, in the quarters of a shopkeeper, we were to meet other harpers. Instead, Jahira found that her ranks have been invaded by doppelgangers. With our business settled here, we ready ourselves for Worm's Rock Fortress, then the Lower City. It shouldn't be too difficult to get inside, I would imagine. We've got more than one way to do that, and barring all of that, we go in by force. Or maybe we use Featherfall. There should be a way to get in, maybe over here, yeah, look at that. There's another pathway, so we do have potential plans in case diplomacy does not work. What to do? But now, let's go talk to the Keeper of the Gate, Blaze Ellen. Yes, but they were Gortash's idea. Sorry chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. <laughs> not closed to Duke Older Ravenguard's own son, surely. You having a laugh, devil boy? I oh, know Ravenguard, and last I knew, his spawn wasn't sporting those horns. The joke's on you. No entry. That's the end of it. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. And Will, if you're going to pull rank, do not fail. That's very embarrassing. Investigator Valeria needs me in a lower city, you know. A serial killer's on the loose. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. A point of inspiration, charlatan. Rock solid alibi for Asterion. That's good. More experience, too. Breathe deep and move. And we finally made it inside. No blood was shed. Yet. Look at that. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Your city. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to kill you. I admire your audacity, but it'll be the death of you. Catherick had an army of corpses and a crumbling tower. I have a city and an army of steel. It will be better for us both to resolve our differences amicably. And I have the perfect venue for a face-to-face -face meeting. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Oh, I'll do that. Gortash, we shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. We could head straight there. Because I can't wait to see him. Oh, not again. Hell's not this again. Let's go back for a moment, actually. We'll go into a different room. The brain has resisted its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. That's a terrifying idea. I wonder what he plans on doing about that. He probably wants my stone. Oh, a quartermaster. Let's go say hello. That's why nothing's gonna happen to us. This is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. Oh, don't be like that. I would like to trade. Trade? Do I 
look like a shopkeeper. This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. Does it now? Hold on. I'm going to use my detect thoughts in order to find the cause of her sour mood. That might help out. A DC of 10. Thank you, Rapture. We got that from a nymph from our prior part. A 22. Can't believe they put that mindless metal Mragresham in my armory. Steel watches. Stupid thing will probably decapitate me for cleaning the bloody mace rack. Oh man. You know what? Steel watchers make me uneasy. A good weapon in my palm would put my mind at rest. Finally someone who sees sense. Strong folk wielding strong blades. That's what keeps folk safe. Not those glorified golems. I don't have anything fancy, but... You're welcome to take a look. Do you not? No, I suppose you don't. I wonder if she has a hidden stash. Where she's got better items. No, it's pretty standard. We don't need what she has. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. No wonder she's in a bad mood. Another inspiration point. Nothing's not for sale. Thank you again, Asterion. And a passageway. Let's go find out what's over here. Worms Rock Prison. If Lord Gortash is in charge, there's bound to be someone of decent moral character locked up. Breva Brightmoon, prison guard, you're asleep. And you've got a prison log. Let's check it out. We'll see who's here. Ear spoon. Indecent exposure. Wait. Lord Gortash ordered him to be released? Why? Why would he get involved? Weird. We've got Otto Ott. And Counselor Florig, she's here. That's right, she came here looking for aid. Charge, treason, sedition, incitement of discontent. And she's awaiting execution. Not on my watch. Arthur Gregorio, he's also here, or was. He's dead now. I could unlock the door, but instead, let's play it safe. Wake up, Breva. The guard is fast asleep. Bathed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. Really now? Excuse me? <sighs> what now? Goodness, how embarrassing. I had a heavy lunch. Welcome to Worms Rock Prison, the fifth nail we jail. What's your business? Sure. I'm not going to lie to her. I'm here for Arthur. It's time he answered my questions. A DC of 15. We'll add friends for advantage. We've got that now. A 12. We failed. So we'll use a point of inspiration. Let's try again. An 11. Oh, come on. I've got more points to burn. I'm not going to give up. A 20. A nat 20. Aren't you the bloke who exposed the bloody bastard? Access God's damn granted. Hang on. I'll let you through. You're very kind. Well, in you go. And don't feed the prisoners. Makes them cocky. Yeah, I bet. How many guards do we have here? One patrolman. Three guards to the right. That's good to know. Who else do we have here? We've got a guy over in the corner of a cell. That would be Otto. What do you want? You do look stinky. To help you escape if I can. I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I thought maybe he could give me information, but I suppose not. There's Arthur. Let's talk to him. I know he was blackmailed, but what he did was so darn heinous. I can't forgive him for it. I won't let it go. Wake up. 
The corpse regards you lifelessly. All right. You donated explosive toys to the refugees. Why? I'm just an artisan. They made me do it. They? Who do you mean by they? Maynites said to put explosives in the toys or else. Baynites? Okay. Why did they want you to do that? To prove steel watchers are needed. Oh, you're kidding me. Gortash, Orin, they were behind it. Why did you hate those refugees so much? They might find the basement. They did not. I did. Who killed you? His people. I warned you. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Very well. You've paid your price. That wasn't up to me. That was up to you. There she is. She's still alive. Good. You're too late. It's over. By Avernus. Floric. Will. Is that you? What curse has befallen you? No matter. The city. The future. It's done. What do you mean? Counselor, what happened to you? The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. Your father's a tadpole's puppet, Will. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. The hell's with that. Nothing is over. Not while I still draw breath. Yeah, we're not going to let you do that. I could be kind. Or I could be intimidating. <laughs> we'll be kind. I'm breaking you out. Baldur's Gate needs you. Bravenguard needs you. A DC of only 10. And 11. We barely made it. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Father's words. Indeed. To think I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. And I can only do it with the help of the blade. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. I do agree. Agreed. I'll find a way to unlock your cell. Hurry. I've got a few options. I could get a Asterion to unlock the gate, fight her way out. That would be bloody and time consuming. Instead, let's have a look around. It shouldn't be too difficult. I imagine there's bound to be another pathway around. And let's begin by looking in this room here. Though I need to watch out for that one fist. They're waiting for me. They're patrolling. They're allowing me to be here, which is fine. I don't mind. They just need to move away. They need to turn a corner and just move away. All right. That should do Everyone it. Else Hopefully. Business, I'll be fine. Let's open up. All right. Done. Let's have a look inside. Oh, no, catch a break. Let's see, what do we have around here? We've got some items I could potentially loot. Ooh, a wall. There we go. Will, why don't you open it up? Best you should be able to do that. You've got a bludgeoning weapon. One attack. And two. Very good. That leads outside. Okay, so if we fight through here, we could lead her hopefully through that pathway. That's a good idea. I mean, 
There's only so many rooms to check. Let's have a look around. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll go back, we'll pick her up, and get her out. Oh man, I wish we had a scroll of invisibility. Or the spell to cast it on every single member, including Floric. I bet if we did that, we wouldn't need to fight the guards. But we don't have that, like so we're going to have to fight. Let's get inside. Some oh, some like fire. That. Yeah, we're going to dip our weapons. The hero at home. That's going to be nice. Don't mind me, I just there want a are. bit of fire. Oh, it's not a problem. I mean, who cares? It's free, right? And also Asterion, his turn. Something extra. Yeah, get over here. Thank you. Now we get to attack. We'll go after Creek Rider first. You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. Am I now? Are you sure? I disagree. And so we're gonna fight everyone. I could knock them out, but they do follow Gortash. Asterion, you get to attack first. A miss, unfortunate. Strike again. Try that. Another miss, but then 12 damage. She's got a shield, no wonder. She's a huge pain. Wait there. Karlak, it's your turn. I want you to jump, but you'll have to wait for now. That's okay. We'll go after Sonder. We'll do that to make it easy, to keep it easy. You've got advantage. A miss again. A response, 18 damage. Not a great start today, but that happens. It happens. Oh, I would love to jump right by you to knock you prone. Let's try it out. You two made your saves. Your turn is over. Right. Edrahil, Let's it's go. your turn. Strike now. Not bad. Strike again. And one more time. One enemy dead. That's great news. And a bonus attack. Go after Creek Rider. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Will, it's your turn. Get over here. And I want you to go blasting. It's simple. It's easy. Do it now. Three shots. A critical hit. Good work. He's dead as well. We could do something else. We could use our action surge, but I'm not going to do that. Not right now. Instead, just move over here. Don't let them move away. You're done. What are you going to do? You're dashing in. You won't be able to act. Jazzic. A trip attack. Nice work. Oh, poor Asterion. What an assault. Okay, let's jump over. Let's try to knock them prone. They made their save. That was bound to happen. Let's be reckless again because we've got to. A decent attack. Strike once more. 9 HP. They're nearly dead already. Okay, Asterion. You won't strike. Will, you're going to. Use your blast again. Keep it simple. A counter spell. Whoa. Okay, that was rude. That was very rude. You're not going to be able to act again, but that's fine. You're done. All right, Asterion. I want you to hit them. Could you shoot them? Not from there. Move away. They can't hit you in response. Good. All right. Oh, if only I could use a proper sneak attack. Oh, wait, I can. Ah, oh, 9 HP. Strike again. More misses. Aren't you lucky? A vampire bite. Yeah, if we could, we would go after you directly, but we can't do that, so we're just gonna have to run on over. Try to. Use a potion. He's feeling better. He's fine now. Okay, Andrew Helm. Kill them. Good job. We'll come over here and go after... Oh, hold on. I'll need to jump. Let's do that. We'll go after that mage. I can't use my bonus action now. 41 HP. Aren't you lucky? Counterspell? Nah. We're okay. A fire elemental. Very intimidating. And trying to shove Edrahill. What a bad idea. We'll go after that elemental for fun. Let's do that. One attack. Devastating. Strike again. 55 HP. You're done for the moment. Just move around it. Like that. Okay, Karlak, it's your turn. Jump by it. Or instead, we could jump by that wizard. Yeah, let's get him. If I get him, 
maybe the elemental will go away. That's my hope. One more attack. We got them. And it's gone. Very good work, everyone. We've got the keys we need. A chicken egg. A red pepper. Yeah, that's mine too. Thank you. I think we're feeling fine. There's a potion. And let's, let's go open up way. that gate. Let's do that and get out. Perfect. Come on, Floric. We're leaving. You know where you need to go. I would feel bad for them, but they're not on the right side. They're not. If only they were. They wouldn't be working for Gortash otherwise. The Flaming Fist probably needs to be purged. I'm not saying killed, but their ranks need to be looked at. For who still works there, they're not a great bunch. Was it always like that? That's what I wonder. Will has a very rosinant view of Baldur's Gate, but the reality is not great for anyone who's not a noble. Let's get out of here. This is far enough. The way it should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. It's the least we could do. Your faith in this city should inspire us all. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm glad to see you free. You've proven a vital ally. When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. Hey, thank you. Oh, she's quick. She's nimble. She's ready to get out of here. Folk hero. Diplomatic rescue. Will is inspired. Well, that's great news. Now we need to go back. We need to actually head back in. Hopefully we're not going to trigger My any fights or spot. whatever else. Spent more than a few summertide days here. Hey, good for you, Will. All right, what's over here? I've got to enter the audience hall. And I've got to confront Lord Gortash. You know, easy stuff. Well, the good part is I could easily get back inside by, of course, going to that waypoint. That'll save me a bit of time. We're drenched in blood, but that's probably pretty normal for the area. Let's go see to the Grand Ego of Lord Gortash. We've got to witness his ascension. I doubt we could assassinate him right here and now. Though if we can, we'll do it. What do we have? Mazora! Wait, what are you doing here? All of you can see her, right? And you're allowing her to be here? I'm not sure I believe her. If it isn't little Will, straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The Absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worms Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. I wonder what her interest is here. I don't know, but we're bound to find out. We've got, let's see, attendants, bodyguards for many lords and ladies. Look, I'm all for Gortash, but those clankers... They don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Ha! You hear this? Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. You're not gonna like what I have to say. I've seen the Absolute's army. Nowhere safe. Still watch or not. Alright. No need to kill the mood. Gods, not. You sure can pick him. I know. I'm such a delight. Is there anyone else here that we should talk to? No, not too many that I'm able to see. A waiter, a cook, other attendants and bodyguards. 
It's finally time to go up then. And I can't believe Mazora is just waiting here. For what? I don't know. It feels weird. We're finally about to meet him face to face. Two new journal updates available. Look at all of the people here, not to mention the mini guards. I don't think we could take out Inver Gortash. Not here, no. I wish we could. The Duke is also here. I know that Karlak is going to want to fight right away, but I'll have to hold her back. We'll get him, but maybe not yet. Not to mention, we've got to really talk about the Elder Brain. Control is beginning to loosen, and with an Elder Brain free, Baldur's Gate could be doomed. Okay, let's go greet them. It's finally time. Waste a step. I've been waiting for this moment. Kin's people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. He's not wrong. We've got to watch out. We might need Gortash alive to save the city. Let's wait to strike until we've had a chance to question him. We always need more information. A DC of 18. We're going to use friends for advantage. Let's try it now. A 13. That won't do. We'll try again. Come on, don't fail today. A 21. You're asking a lot. But I can wait. For a while at least. Let's get Baldur's Gate safe. Then rip his throat out. A moment please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak. Come and say a proper hello. My respects! You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. You're kidding me. No, I totally get it. I understand why he was able to get here. He's a brilliant mind. But we just need to be careful. We've got to keep in mind that the Elder Brain is threat number one. Gortash, while he's a nefarious individual, provided he's not willing to destroy Baldur's Gate to do what he wants, then he's a lesser evil in comparison. Of course, we do want to take him down as well. Why is the crown failing? It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Yeah, okay. What kind of understanding do you suggest? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Right. What are you getting at? 
Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. You know what? I hate to say it, but I believe him. Hold on. It's going to take a lot to make me trust you. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the Viper to the Frog. The sheer audacity of the man. That's incredible. No, I can't pledge a solemn oath. I've already done so. I'm a paladin. I would imagine if I were to do that, I would break my current oath. And I'm not willing to be an oath breaker. Not for what's here. Maybe for a greater purpose, but not for what's here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll an insight skill check. We're going to examine his body language and expressions. Can you trust him? Let's find out. A DC of 15. A 20. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. What? He's willing to share his kingdom? I don't understand him. Usually people like him, villains like him, want it all, but he wants to compromise? That's really nefarious. That's crazy. Hold on now. I'll think about it. No promises. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. When it comes to that topic, he has no reason to lie. He wants Orin dead. How am I supposed to find Orin if she can change her form so easily? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers. When she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. There are many bodies. And don't forget... We did, we did allow Asterion to live in order to find Cazador, and now we're nearing Cazador, so what we're doing right now does track. We're hunters. We're willing to lie and wait. We'll get Gortash, not here, but in time. You, Orin, Catherick, the Brain, what was your plan? First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. 
Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their Absolute God. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Dear god. And so begins your tyranny. But hold on. Where in the Nine Hells did you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Infernal connections. And so begins your tyranny. Our tyranny. And we are saviors. Defenders of the Sword Coast. Our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. I disagree. I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I would rather not do that. I don't want to. But we'll get it over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Oh man. I'll have to be quiet for now. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. I'll come back for him. I hate that so much, but don't forget, we've got to save Will's father, too. If we were to have a battle here and now, who knows what might have happened to him. Not to mention, the many other jobs we have to do. It's gonna take time, but we'll get him. Let's talk to Karlag. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? What did I make of him? Look, on a personal level, me, I am impressed. However, for Edrahill, he seemed like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? No kidding. When people are scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. You're not wrong. You're absolutely right. We've got a few nobles here. I wonder, 
Are we going to be able to talk to Duke Ravenguard? Let's try to. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you, but you've come to me just as Gortas said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son, unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. No, I disagree. I'm here to help you. Florg sent me. Help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Floric's location a secret. Little does he know that you've already found and freed her. That's right. We're doing fine. Oh, by the gods. What have they made of the city's great hero? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that true soul is the greatest of goods. No, this isn't him. This is the tadpole talking. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend. Kirill's first and only grand city. No, I do disagree. I'm not going to use a tadpole. We're not going to begin now. I'm going to ignore his hesitation. Have we finished then? Sure, we have. We'll have to come back later on. Let's talk to Will. Let the people rejoice. Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words. Like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Mine as well. Okay. We are done here. I don't know if there's anyone that we truly need to talk to. But we're going to leave. I wonder if Mizora oh, would like to have me. a conversation again. Maybe so. He's one for now. But only for now. There she is. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? For your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Wait, what? Relocated? What are you playing at, devil? Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. I do hate her. I do hate her a lot. Okay, we'll talk to Will again. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? That's a good question. That's a really hard one. Where has Gortash taken your father, do you think? I couldn't even fathom a guess. 
Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Okay, sure. Not to mention that we have some manner of imposter back at camp. That alone is a great boon to know about. We didn't know that prior, but now we do. I wonder what happened. I don't know. And I really do hate it. Okay, what's in here? We're just gonna check things out. Then we're going back to camp. Okay. What? Oh, uh, what are you... What are you doing in here? You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others. You are a bit nervous. Now hold on. Sure. If you want me to tell them you were trying to steal their belongings. But we're going to use our paladin and persuasion response. I can't go yet. I'm waiting on your explanation. Why were you stealing? A DC of only 10. A 27. A pass. I'm no thief. I... I was going to pay it back. Eventually. I just... I needed the gold. I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. Crooks, huh? Oh, I don't like that. Why do you need to leave? You haven't heard. An army is coming. They're saying it's unstoppable. My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. That's very cowardly. I'm not going to threaten him. But you know what? I'm going to tell him. Get a grip. You're a soldier. Act like one. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. I guess he wouldn't be any good here, but Andrew Hill is not going to take pity on him. He did sign up. It doesn't really matter what he wanted. He's here. He made a pledge. Okay. It's finally time. Let's go back to camp. Up to. I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Enough, Mezora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, 
I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you arsehole. Choose. I would rather allow Will to make his own decision. But if I have to prompt him, then there's only one choice. We don't need her. We're going to find your father, Will. Andrew Hill won't let him die. Break the pact. You deserve your freedom. You damned wretch. Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> That's all over. Let's go talk to Will again. I know for him that was a difficult decision, but I don't trust her. We should never trust her. It's only led to hardship. As as my feet can carry me. Oh wait, she's gonna be in my camp? You're kidding me! Ugh, gross. Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. No kidding, my friend. But you are your own man now, Will. It's better. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The Blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. You're going to. But your father's not dead yet, Will. Maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. Oh, come on now. What's our next step, in your view? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. Okay, we'll do that. In my mind, what if he was to sign over his soul? Then Mizora told him to act against all of us. Would he be able to say no? I would think not. Again, we can't trust her. As for who's evil in our camp, I don't know. But for now, we're going to bed. Oh, hold on. Who would like to talk to me? Another person. That's okay, I don't mind. Is it Karlak? No, not Karlak. Who could it be? It better not be Mazora. I don't want to talk to her right now. Ah, Gel. Okay, we'll talk to him then. I knew any artifact that could command an Elder Brain must be close to omnipotent. But for it to be the very Crown Castle's forged, it verges on unbelievable. I assure you, the hammer Raphael offered is mere scrap metal in comparison, whatever use he claims for it. 
We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. I'm sure. All right. Sounds like a good idea. The only kind I have? Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Hopefully so. If it is, that's great. If not, we continue on. But now, finally, let's go to bed. It feels good to be able to go to bed without some manner of deity or devil waking us up. We're going to bring Asterion, Jahira, and also Shadowheart into the city proper. I did not know Duke Ravenguard that well. But I am sure he would not want his son to become slave to Zariel for his sake. I am sure Will knows that. But we would do well to remind him when his days grow dark. I do agree. There's no way that Will's father would want that type of fate for his son. Oh, and Jahira, it sounds like you speak from experience. No one truly understands the weight of loss until they've worn it a while. There is no shame in sharing the load when you need to. You're not wrong. You also mentioned there might be another way to find Minsk. <sighs> there might be, but... It's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Hopefully so. Now join me. As you wish. We've yet to find that imposter, but I'm sure Orin is going to make herself known when the time comes. What's pretty creepy about my statue is that it'll change position every so often. A bit strange. Oh, I need to drink a potion. A potion of animal speaking. There we are. Scratch, what do you have for me, boy? Get over here. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. That's fair. Hand it over. Come on. Thank you. Hey, I hope you like it. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. You thought of me whenever you found Salami. Um, thank you. Here's a pet. You're a very good boy. There we go. It has been a minute, huh? Okay, Gil. What do you want now? So, the devil himself is pursuing the crown. As for whether it's truly the crown Carter's forge, well... I think it's safe to assume we shouldn't take anything Raphael utters at face value. We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves, before anyone else does. Yeah, we'll do that. Great conversation. <laughs> Alright, Shadowheart, it's your turn. Something the matter? I should hope not, after the time we spent together. My spirits are... thoroughly lifted. Oh, I do believe that's true. I did want to talk to you about that, as it so happens. Oh? Not feeling any regrets, I hope? No. It was great. It was wonderful. But instead, what Edgerhill would say is, just remember, you'll need plenty of practice if you're to become an accomplished swimmer. Trust me. I'll be an eager pupil. If I have a thorough teacher. Though... I'm still finding sand in my hair. I wonder what the others will think of that. Yeah, me too. But they will naturally assume we snuck away to make sandcastles in the middle of the night. <laughs> but of course they will. I hope we'll have more opportunities to slip away. And make sandcastles. That's right. Now join me. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. And so we finally get to move into the lower city. It's been a long time coming. We've had to make so many decisions and hopefully many of them were sound and right. I won't know until later. Let's continue our journey. Let's get inside. You are entering a different region. Venture forth? Of course. 
The lower city is an absolute bedlam. We enter and what do we see right away? Gallows. That's what Lord Gortash would like for everyone. At least if you're not in the upper city, I'm sure. To the left, we have a guard shaking down people for their chickens. Where do we even begin? Over here is a flaming fist outpost. And strangely enough, a guard is trying to stay balanced on one foot. Let's go find out what that's about. What a strange place. Don't distract me. It's all I can do to stay balanced. Oh, I get to use my Baldurian background. Could that be one of Blaze Portier's infamous punishments? Yes. I stole a purse from the evidence room. It was stupid. And I swore to Blaze Portier I'd never do it again. Ever. That's good I to know. I have to stand on one leg until she believes me. Good luck. Thanks. I'm not going to reprimand him. He's already being punished. He's being humiliated. We've got what now? Let's Two dwarfs, a steel say. watcher, she she a few was. members of the fist who are training, and that's got to be Portier. It is. Lower your voice, huh, she's no longer in Chol. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like there's some manner of argument going on. My daughter. Let's find out what's happening. How many times do I need to say it? You sent words about a lead, said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? No, I don't. But I would like to know. Tell me. My daughter Vanra. My little girl. She's missing. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... She was... Taken from a tavern? Yes. The blushing mermaid down by the docks I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? I don't know what's happening to Portier, but we know it's not natural. You know, you need to tell me what's going on. If you can't be helped by the fist, I can help you. Excuse me, citizen, but if this is a criminal matter, it's my business, not yours. Now, madam, if you'll just tell me why you're here, I'll take down the details. What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! I don't blame you. I have felt like that for a very long time. I'm going to use my paladin response. I will find your daughter. I swear upon my oath. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. Interesting. Was there anyone else over there with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But there'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. We were sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. I'm not sure about that. You brought your child to a drinking hole. And it's right by the docks. So you know it's a pretty rough and tumble place. You must have some witnesses, surely. Of course. The front of house, Boston Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. I bet. They're only there to drink. I'll head to the Blushing Mermaid now. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Sure, I'll do that. Let's talk to Portier. Commander Portier, acting marshal of the Fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. They're lucky that I'm here now. What about your aid? The Fang. Your tools were stolen, right? No, you were mugged. Wait. I'm mixing you up with another citizen. 
I'm terribly sorry. I'll, I'll get back to you. I get it. I get it. Don't forget, we need to warn people that they're about to be murdered. We've got that murder investigation that we need to focus on. We'll do that first. Which means we'll need to go over to Elf Song Tavern in order to talk to Devella. We've got to stay focused. If there's a quest near other ones, then I'll do those too. But if we spread out too much, we'll never get anything done. It's a very dense area, and if I get distracted, it'll take a long time to see anything completed. Let's have a look around for just a brief moment. There's a local news hawker. We could get a gazette. Who's Estra? Oh, you. I know you. How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. I don't like her already. You have me at a disadvantage. I've no idea who you are. My name's Estra Stir, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate so our readers don't have to. Right. You work for the Baldur's Mouth Gazette, I presume. You are quite correct. The best broadsheet around. I would certainly recommend picking up a copy in the near future. You are, after all, the star of the next Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Oh, I don't want that. That can't be good. And what would be the headline of that edition? <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. It's our juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. I was going to ask her what product she uses in her hair, but now I know it's called Smug. She's got a lot of it. I'll leave now. I don't want to talk to her anymore. Journal updated. Stop the presses. Okay. We'll have to check out what's going on. That can't be good. Imagine if everyone knows I'm here. Or they try to paint me as some evil. That's going to make my job a lot harder. The tavern... It's right over here. Okay. That's where we need to go first. How can I tell? There's people sitting and drinking. And I knew that it was close by. Let's go through that door. Good to know. I'll try to find it if I can. If it doesn't take a lot of time. The Elf Song Tavern. No kidding. Now we're inside. Oh, there's a lot of people. I don't see any member of the Fist. Not here. We could talk to a few people. Oh, who are you? Ulrich. Let's start with him. Hello, old friend. Oh, so I assume... I, I used to know everybody around town, but now I'm a new man. I don't know what that means. A new man? Who were you when you were an old man? A worried man, a playwright who'd lost the will to write. <laughs> now I worry no more. Can't write a word? What does it matter? Poor guy's been drinking a lot. I feel for him. Who else could we talk to? Well, there's an innkeeper. Let's talk to Alan. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. There's plenty. I'm looking for a place to stay. I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. 200 gold coins? Would that be a discount? I think not. Perhaps I could get one. There is a murder up there. <laughs> Charity! In Baldur's Gate. Good one. Oh, come on now. I'm going to use persuasion. You want 200 gold to sleep next to a murder scene? Really? Let's try that. A DC of 18. 1d4 guidance. Advantage. Let's try it out. A 25. Keep your voice down about the bloody murder upstairs. <clears throat> Top floor's all yours. 
If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. That's a good point. Alright. Veterans Hotspot. Edrahill is inspired. More experience, and we have leveled up. That's really good. Well, hold on. I'll worry about that in just a bit. Who's over here? Ah! Two members of the Fist. That's where I need to go for sure. And we also need to go into the kitchen. Right. It looks like we've got Rovere, who would be the chef, who's also a murder target. Let's go tell him. He should know. Damn rat. Oi, you! I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it! Get in there! What do you mean? No, hold on. Look. The rats are unimportant. Your name is on a list of murder targets. You need to hide. No. I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. Oh my god. I'll do that because I do want to check out your basement. But you are very, very dumb. Let's go up then. Halt, Sivvy. Turn back. This is an active crime scene. Hold on, Thornil. I'm tired of standing here. Develo's been up there for ages. <laughs> Some diversion would be welcome. Sure. Investigator Valeria told me to speak with Constable Devella. Constable Devella said she wasn't to be... Investigator Valeria outranks her. As you were, Sivvy. Fair warning, though. She's in a foul mood. I bet she is. Valeria is an idiot. But Devella should be hopefully competent. I would hope so. We also get to stay up here. Parlor, a place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Maybe. Area under investigation. Here it is. told those idiots not to let anyone through? You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. I've got many good reasons, sure. Let's see. Are you Devella? Valeria sent me. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stalmain's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm going to tell her about the murder target list I found. God. That's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man, Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne, a dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. I know who, but I'm here to also get information. Any idea who it is? No idea, unfortunately. But whoever it is, they're intimately familiar with Saravok's work. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts, 
The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. I'll do that, sure. But what will you do in the meantime? There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Yeah, I'll do that, of course. But that's really a shame. The Flaming Fists should be protecting everyone, not just upper city folk. Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. That's not how I work. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. I won't need it. But I wish I could give her all of my evidence. I've got so much. She should be able to convince any of them. Here's a bloody ring. Bloodied ring. Guess the killer didn't want jewelry. No, they did not. And a few notes, too. Let's have a look. Okay, drafted by Devella Fountainhead. Deceased. Duke Stelmain. Blood loss. Okay, right hand missing. Clean severance. Likely before dying. Mark of the absolute on the floor. Okay. Well, we know a bit more than we did. A map of murder, excuse me. About what? Perception failed. What's over here? Hey, all of you, get over here. Hmm. What's that? Yeah, what is it? Hold on. I can't get to it. I need to move over a few things. Strange bottle. Even stranger smell. No kidding. That's got to be it. This doesn't smell right. The wine was tainted. Poisoned. That sounds about right. I'll pick it up then. I probably don't need to, but I did. Still me. Even after everything. No kidding. Alright, about that map of murder. Okay, a single marker. The location of one murder site. Gotcha. Now I know. So we know a bit more about the murders than we did before. We could check out our new digs. We are staying here. I don't like that, but we are staying here. Sure, let's do that. Damn! No way! They even brought my statue. I wonder who had to carry it. But here's where we get to stay? Oh my god! That's incredible! I feel like we're all kind of stacked up on each other, but we're here. That's great. I love it. I'm happy to be here. Oh, hello. There's loot inside. Okay, I'll take free loot. I'm not mad about that. What a good day for me. And while we are here, we need to level up. I'll probably change up my party quite a bit. For now, for the murder, I think what we have is quite good. We have the tools we need. Oh boy, keeping pets inside. That's something. You first, Cedra Hill. Let's level up. Level 11. That feels good. What do we get here? A new level 3 spell slot. Improved Divine Smite. Alright. Melee weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 8 radiant damage. Very good. Let's move on. We've got a Sterian. Oh, you've got a point over in Fighter. I think I'll change that up. Yeah, I'll probably divide it between Ranger and also Rogue. But of course, I could stick here for a bit to get Action Surge. Another action. So, for now, take it. I'll change it later. 
Jahira. 98 HP. What do you get? Wild Strike. Well, I'm not too worried about Wild Shape. Another level 3 spell slot. That's if I go further down your Druid line. Having a few extra spells wouldn't hurt, but you're more of a melee combatant. She's a Spore Druid and a Fighter. Two maneuvers, okay. I'll take over here, let's see. Menacing attack to frighten an enemy target. I like that a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. And after that, we could pick up a pushing attack to push foes maybe into a chasm or somewhere else. Shadow Heart, level 11, a light cleric. Many new spells too. And a new level 6 spell slot. We only have one right now. Oh, I could use more, but that's going to be powerful. Kero's Feast. You and everyone around can't be poisoned, diseased, or frightened. Your HP increases, and you make wisdom saves with advantage. Damn, that's really good. We don't always get to get all dressed up, but here we are, looking like civilians. Very dapper ones at that. Of course, I do have a job to go kill some rats in a basement. Oh boy, I didn't really consider that. Okay, we'll wash up afterwards, then go into the city. We don't want to intimidate everyone. Oh, here's a cat. Tambourine. Adorable. Let's chat. Hello, servant ape. Would you kill those rats, please? Their presence vexes me. Sure. Oh my god. That chef is driving me crazy. He's an idiot, but... That doesn't mean that he should die. Just down the stairs. There, you'll find my old lodgings. Also, we're here to find his old lodgings too, provided it won't take a long time. Oh my god, he wasn't kidding. That's a lot of rats. What do we have around? Fire wine barrels, okay, good. I've got arrows of fire that I brought just in case, only to hit all of them, or as many as possible. But I also brought a very important tool. We picked it up, I believe, in Act 2. It's called a Rat Bat. You've got to have a lucky Rat Bat. Charlie Day isn't here to help me out, so I'm going to channel his spirit and take on the rats. Let's give it a moment. Okay, Asterion, you'll move first. Arrow of Fire, let's go after the rats over in this corner. Hit them all. Oh, we got them. Ha ha ha, good job. All right, more rats. It's D&D. Eventually, you'll have to kill a lot of rats. It happens. More in that corner. Do not use Executioner. That would be a waste. I don't want to long rest too often. Not right now. Ignore it all. Thank you. And we took out more rats. All right. We'll go after who then? We got all but one in that corner. What a shame. Use Dread Ambusher ranged. Shoot it now, you've got it. A critical miss, aren't you fortunate? But an offhand attack, we've got that, try again. You shouldn't miss again. If you did, I would be impressed. All right, that worked out. I could have moved him closer, but I don't want him near a bunch of rats or the fire wine barrels. You're done. All right, after that, Jahira, you get to move. You've got options too, I'm sure. Hold on. Ah, I need to divide up my arrows of fire. I've got so many because I never use them. I never do. And I buy them a lot whenever I can. All right, we'll go after this group. Those rats are dead. I'm not hungry. I'm really not hungry. Imagine you're eating food and down in the kitchen or in the basement for that kitchen, there's a horde of rats. You wouldn't want to know, I would imagine. We'll get that one too. Edrahill, I can't forget about you. Why don't you go after... Well, if you go too far, you'll take a bit of fire damage. Not that it really matters. We got one. Haha, <laughs> time for another. Rat back. And a third. What? The master rat. Okay. We've got to watch out for him. He's dangerous. You're done now, Edriel. Oh, Asterion. If only you could act again. Okay, Shadowheart. Your turn. Let's take out the three to the left. You got them, good job. And you're done. That's it for you. I wish you could do more, but you cannot. Well, not that I want you to. Halo of Spores, 
Take out that rat. And we've only got two left. Nice. All right. Let's wait and see. Fire damage. Oh my god. The wine cellar. There's a hidden door that leads further in. That's good to know. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the wine racks. The wine racks. Oh boy. The chef is not going to like what we've done here. A keepsake ring. Let's check that out. Now what do you do? Dominate Beast, a level 5 enchantment spell. That could be really handy, yeah. I could pop it on, use it, take it off, be in a good place. Alright, I'll throw down a bit of water. I'll clean up a little bit, not too much. I do have a lot of water. Okay, let's begin over here. One door at a time. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. All right, we found it. One more door to go through, correct? Yeah, nothing really to the right that I'm able to see. And we have found it. As my feet can carry me. The psionic detector's been activated. There must be gift hostiles nearby. Oh, that's good to know. All right, get ready for a major battle. Their numbers have got to be large. They usually are. We probably need to change into our armor again. What we're wearing is not appropriate. Nor do I need to use a rat bat. Unless maybe they have a giant rat. Then I'll bring it back out. Get the Yankee. Black is has found later, us. Even the Get rid of them. Quickly. We will be ready. In the meantime, tear every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. Oh, I bet. So what are we fighting? Let's have an understanding about what we're about to contend with. We've got a level 11 Paladin, Aura of Conquest, Legendary Resistance, not to mention the Gith are able to teleport. They've also got Parry. They're a pain to fight. Lazelle would be great to have here. Over to the right, we've got a Veteran Gish, Psionic Ward Aura, and a Gate Master. They want to bring in reinforcements. The Gate Masters are only level 5. They're quite squishy. To the left, we have one too. A Veteran Gish and a Veteran Raider. Alright. I know what I want to do. Before we go anywhere, hold on. We're all going to drink Elixirs. Adriel, you first. Then Asterion. We want to crit here. Because trying to land spells, that's going to be a pain. Good. You've done what you've needed to do. Andrehelm, you'll go in, probably on your own. Shadowheart, you've got a spell to use. Hero's Feast. There. We can't be poisoned, diseased, or frightened. More HP, and every wisdom save will be made with advantage. A great spell to use. I could even use a hireling back at camp who's a cleric, to actually use that spell. That way we don't use up our own spell slot. Like a little spell support buddy. I'll think about it. Alright, we're back here. Edger Hill, you're ready. You're going on your own to the right. For the rest of you, I want you to move over to the left. Based on what I'm seeing, they're not really looking down here. So, you should be safe to wait there. Good. They want to ambush me? No, no. I'm going to ambush all of them. All right, Edriel, what you'll do, you'll move up. You'll jump up here because you're crazy, and I want to go That's after a, a gate master, surprise. or not. Here you are, as brazen as described. The traitor who would steal from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? They saw me, but that's okay. How did you know about that? Mind Flayers are our quarry. We have filled libraries with our knowledge of how to hunt them down. We tracked it from the moment the Astral Prism fell into its claws. And now that we have found it, we will reclaim the Astral Prism, purge it of the Elithid Interloper, and restore it to its rightful owner. 
I mean, you can certainly die trying. Death will be yours and yours alone, Gake Slave. Hataka! All right, a battle begins. One veteran raider moving first. Don't see my party. Good, you did not. He's here, but that's okay. It doesn't really change up too much. We're able to jump. We know how to jump, and we're very good at it. Gate Master, hello. He's a level one divine smite. You're dead. Oh, that felt good. Another level one divine smite. It hit. 118 HP out of 162 left. Very nice work. Oh, treasure. An orange. I don't want your orange. It's garbage. Let's go back over to Asterion. All right. I want all of you to move up. Stepping softly. Right up over here. Shadowheart, you'll attack first. That's your job today. So come over here. And I want you to use, let's see, where is it? Ah, here we go. A level five flame strike. Do that. There we go. Look at that. No more gate master. No reinforcements. Problem one solved. A spiritual weapon, that could help out. Sure, bring it out. Right there, right by them. A bit more DPS on our side. Shadowheart will then move up. She's done. Jahira, you could go after the Gish. You could help out Edrahil. If you do that, that's one less enemy to worry about. That's true. However, I want you to go after that Paladin. Instead, Asterion is going to come over here to help out Edrahil. Because we know how much he loves Edrahil. Yeah, that'll do it. What's our chance to hit? Pretty high right now. Shoot in. Executioner. Two critical hits. Very nice work. Keep on shooting. One miss, but then a hit too. Action surge because you're not done. Yeah, do that for me. Good. Shoot again. One more time. Please don't miss. And he did not. All right. Now move back down, bring out your daggers. Edrahil, you're able to move down too. Good. All right, Shadowheart, you've done what you need to. Jahira, it's your turn. Strike. But use an offhand melee attack. A parry. There it is. I was waiting for that. All right. Let's see here. You've parried. What about a trip attack? I would like to knock her prone. It didn't work out. We'll try again. She made her save. Halo of Spores for fun. She made her save again. Okay. That's fine. We're going to end our turn. I don't want to use up all of my resources. As I don't want to long rest too often. I never do. Flying boots. Oh, yeah, flying boots. I want them. They're very nice. A distracting strike. Jahira hit her hard. Improved warding flare. But she was able to finally hit Jahira. That's okay, though. Okay. Spiritual weapon. Go after the veteran raider. A critical miss. Unfortunate. But that's okay. They miss as well. Return is over. Back to them. Blindness. Oh, it did work out. That's unfortunate. Astral step down. Right by Jahira. What about you? Another misty step. Moving away. Okay, Edrahil. Oh, you're able to jump down. Really? That's great news. Okay, let's go. That camera. It's going crazy in here. Level 1 Divine Smite. Basic. Easy. Simple. Let's do it. Paralyzing Critical. Yeah, there we go. You can't do anything now. Let's strike again. A level 2 Divine Smite. We got them. They're dead. Okay. Let's move right by our core enemy, their leader. Your turn is over. Asterion, you are fearful. I don't like that. No, sorry. You're blind. I thought you were fearful. Give me a moment. I thought you were shivering. <laughs> no, that's your cloak. Okay. Arrow of... Ah, here we go. That's what I need. I don't have very many, but I do want to use one. You'll feel better. Perfect. 
There it is. You are no longer blind. That worked out. Stay over here, Shadowheart. You're done. You too, Edriel. Asterion? Well, we have what? Two enemies to worry about. If you could, I would have you go after the one to the right, but he's very far away. Instead, let's come over here. Attack now. A low chance to hit, but that's okay. There's a parry. Keep on shooting. 19 damage, then 19 again. He's not done. Revenge. Wow. He was able to land a lot. She's getting it. Dagger's back out. His turn is over. Okay, Jahira, let's go. 86 HP. Oh, 51. Back to her. Improved Warding Flare again. She missed. Another attack, I'm sure. Right? Ooh, a response. 21 HP. Another miss again. Okay. Let's have you move right now, weapon. You know what to do. Get over here. Well, you can't reach, but that's okay. Just be threatening or something. Back to their veteran raider, dashing away. Yeah, they can't really do anything. They can't hit anything. Go on, Edrahill. Oh, a parry. Strike again. Now they're dead. Oh, by the way, your boots are mine. Boots of psionic movement, flying strike. When a gith casts fly, their next melee weapon attack deals an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage. Plus 1 to deck saving throws. Interesting. And a spell. Githborn. Flying boots. Medium armor, though. That wouldn't be for Lazelle. She's a monk right now. Alright, we've done it. Only one enemy left. Let's go beat them up. Oh, I should dash, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Be cunning. Dash up. Ah, beautiful. I love when a plan works out. Mostly. Shoot away. Oh, two critical misses. Aren't you lucky, pal? Pathway is interrupted. Are you sure? Another miss. Three misses total. All right. Let's go, Jahira. Dash on up. I don't want to use up any spell slots right now. That isn't what I want. Uh-uh. There we go, Shadow Heart. She's moving up. And we're all done. I might turn her back into a war cleric, who knows? For fun, for my melee team. We'll never miss. He's running away. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> You're threatening me? Hmm, I don't know if you can, you idiot. Let's jump up. Here comes Edrahill, the boogeyman. For all enemies, really. One attack, another. Ah. All right, he's done. Asterion, we've got him backed into a corner, so you know what to do. Shoot and shoot again. Blackhead is relentless. You handled it well. Let us hope she exhausts her forces soon. That's my hope, sure. I'll come back to get their loot to sell. Now search the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. Well, thank you. I've got to search the room. But there are many statues. Can you tell me which one? I mean... That one here? Waste a step. Let's find out. Let's go close. Something over there. Yeah, there we go. Worth a look. Cool. That worked out. Click. Alright, what's in here? My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Like your sword. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. Of course I do. I'll take it. Some rows of books. Ooh. Scroll of eye bite. Your eyes become black corridors, walled in teeth. Your gaze capable of inflicting dread, sickness, or putting creatures to sleep. Dear God, man. That's terrifying. Huh, a shell. A shell. A keepsake for my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. Adorable. My old wardrobe. The home of all my disguises. 
We are what we appear to be, and so appearances matter. Interesting. Okay. Charm or frighten a creature to gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. And over here, Citadel armor. That armor looks familiar. Huh. We'll talk about that later. 18 AC, not bad. You can't be frightened, that's good. Okay, if you're infested by a Mind Flayer Tadpole, they gain plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. We don't have that, but it's money if I want to sell it. I don't use tadpoles. Huh, a fork, a butter fork. My cutlery set, a gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. I bet it does. Notes on Mind Flayer Anatomy. Interesting. I'll pick it up. And here's a scroll. Vampiric Touch. A few decent items around for sure. Any more, maybe. One empty brain jar. That might be worth oh, a look. Chains too. The chains I use to bind my meals. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality. Where I could. Okay, I bet. One empty brain jar. An old container for brains. Empty. Shit. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me now. I bet. How have you been surviving then? On Gith? That's curious. Oh. Recipe for fiddlehead soup. I'll pick it up, sure. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. I could go through that door, but let's have a look real quick. Alright. It would lead somewhere else. I don't want to get caught in a different area. Not right now. Because again, we need to focus on one major task at a time. If I go in there, I could be led somewhere completely different. That's why I'm trying to be careful. It's killing me because I love to explore every little bit, but I'll be back right after the murders are solved. I mean, what we're doing here was already a major distraction. I didn't want that, but they were here and they had to die. Wait, a key? A key for what? I don't know, actually. Interesting. Huh. Arms dealer Gortash in Rhodes. What is that about? Nine fingers. Huh. Okay. He was a smuggler to begin with. That's interesting. To silence. What do we have here? A threat to our operations. Wow, a lot of people then. Okay. He didn't talk about that too often, did he? Minor elemental. More books again. And a bit of money. All right, I have what I need. I'll come back to search a little bit more later. A ledger of water deep debts. Huh. Shield of Silvum. There's just a lot here. A lot of information. Order 251. That's interesting. Okay. A critical mission. So they were operating pretty much everywhere. I gotcha. All right. Let's go. We need to leave. Wait. Wait. Did I drop all that food? Oh, right, the spell. Oh, that's really funny. Huh. I'll take it. I'm not going to leave all that food here. That's really funny. I didn't know that would happen. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, Chef Revere. Don't slow down. The job is done. Don't go down there before you pay me, though. You don't want to see it. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Is he mocking me? I believe he is. But I did just notice just his weapon. Alright, a bit of gold. Chunkers. Well, that makes me it's happy. Alright. Let's get out into the tavern again. Wait, hold on. Lacrissa, she's here. Which means Alphira should also be here. Somewhere. Let's say hi. 
Well, well, look what the bugbear dragged in. Can't believe we both made it to the city and with our limbs attached. I've missed her. Never pictured you as a barmaid. Well, I'd pick this over Moonrise, as delightful as that was. Alan is short on coppers. The counting house is screwing him over. He was willing to hire anyone who'd work for cheap. And I'm nothing if not cheap. Oh, she's funny. Never call yourself cheap, Lacrissa. You are priceless. Oh, you are smooth, hero. I knew there was a reason I missed you. I need to get back to work, but stick around. You brighten the place up. Wait, hold on. What can I get you? Make it as easy as possible and leave a big tip. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Where's Elpira? The two of you are usually together. <coughs> Check the roof. But you didn't hear that from me. Okay, I didn't. Thank you. I'm gonna go now. Let's have a look. I need to go over into my backpack. Ah, here we go. A parchment. It looks like the killer has been going down the list. We did save Chef Revere. Frank Pear Tree, you've been killed. Which means Cora Highberry, you're next. Large home near Baldur's Mouth Gazette, Lower City. We should be very, very close. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, right there, okay. That's where we need to go because right down over here would be the presses. We're all cleaned up and ready to go. I figured we should dress like civilians. That way we can better blend in and maybe not intimidate people who we don't need to intimidate. We don't need armor to scare off our enemies, trust me. What do I oh, we're here already. And what are you wearing? Maybe Edriel would like that for Shadowheart. Who knows? Greg, level 8. Hold on. Remember how the doppelgangers are all named? They've got short names and they all have repeating letters. Who else do we have around here? It's not you. You're very fancy, but no. Oh, here we go. Lud? Cole? Pod? Four doppelgangers. Wait, look, the Red Dwarf. We found him. Oh, he looks like a killer. I mean, if you were to tell me, yeah, that guy's a serial killer, I would go, yeah, that tracks. He's pretty obvious. There's Roger Highberry and also Cora Highberry. Okay. Let's get close, then we'll say hello. If we could take out that red dwarf quickly, that would be ideal. If only I had my sword where, when I hit a foe, they're unable to cast spells, but it's back at camp right now. That would be great to have at the moment. But either way, we'll try to get him. I don't know if we can. It depends. Let's chat. Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzli. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. The wine scent is almost sickly sweet, with an acrid note just on the periphery. Poison. Well, now I know. I think it's only polite that we let the good master drink first. Or should I say, Dolor? No. Who on earth is Dolor? I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. And the battle begins. Wait, hold on. He got away. Boots of Dimension Door. He got away immediately. You're kidding me. Oh, well, now I'm angry. Okay, Shadowheart, you'll move first. Hold person. Well, they're not people. They're doppelgangers, all of them. Command. Use halt. I don't want them to use any action at all. Hit all of them, sure. Every single one of them. A level four casting. Let's try it out. 
We got how many? Three. Nice work. You're done. Just move over here. Or over to the right. That works out. Over to Asterion. Let's take out the one right in front of us. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Right here. One attack. Continue. Because now I'm really angry. We'll have to go save, I believe it's Figaro, who is currently next on that list of targets. Blood all over my clothing. Very rude. Only two, no, three HP left. Okay. They can't do anything. Jahira, your turn. Halo of Spores on that one weak target. You got him. Oh no, he made his save, unfortunate. All right, fine. An offhand attack. You've got him now. One dead enemy, great. Let's go after another. Keep on attacking. I'm not gonna waste anything on them, no. Okay, Andrew Hill, your turn. One more enemy dead. Go after another. Nice work. A bonus attack after that. He's also dead. Ha ha ha. Let's move over here. Okay, Rig, or whatever your name was. Your turn to die. Let's go up. Let's go strike. Asterion is here to kill. Yeah, just keep on stabbing away. He's gonna die no matter what. Move over there. He's blinded too. Nice work. Shadowheart, your turn. Use your bow. Keep it simple. A critical miss. That's okay. You're done. I think I could go another round. Okay. Jahira. Melee strike. And he's dead. You move on to his next victim all the faster. Now we have his trail. That's true. Let's check their bodies quickly. Then we'll check on the high berries. Then move on. A poison, right, on Pod, on Lud, Daggers, and on Cole. What do we have? A shop key. A tombstone shop key. Poison, and over here, a letter. Written by Shalar Cole. I'm done. Interim report. The Scarred Dwarf is a promising candidate for Unholy Assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods of homicide are artistic and even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target. And I, for one, will be observing it closely. And so he did. And so he died. Well, that worked out. Let's go in here. You poor old people. Oh, wait, hold on. They take care of orphans. You're kidding me. I still can't believe... Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. You're very welcome. We I didn't want money, but thank you. Okay. Cost. Very well. We've got to save, again, I believe it's Figaro. And he would be how far? No, we're not going for the night song. Not right now. Fireworks, that's for later. Nesha, that's a target, right? She's after the chef. Ah, here we go, Figaro. I'll head way over here then. We'll just have to run right through and make it there. Then we'll come back. We'll handle what we need to, maybe at the presses. Well, we could also go down and find that little girl. We'll see. We have no choice right now but to just run. There's a lot I'll come back to look at. Imagine that you're having to run through a city. You don't know every little area, but you just know that you need to move. The guards look at you, they glance seeing that you're drenched in blood, but they're too busy or they're indifferent. They don't talk to you. And so you continue to rush knowing that if you tarry for too long, more are going to die. People are going to suffer. It all depends on how fast you're able to move your legs. And so Andrew Hill continues to speed along. We're getting closer. We're not there yet. I'm hoping that I'm going the right way. I believe I am, but it could be wrong. We're in a park. Lovely. But is it what we need? Let's check the map. Okay, we are very close. Let's move around maybe. Maybe over here. Yeah, I do see the building. We just need to move right in here. That should do it. No way to All right. Business, I say. I've never had to rush so much, but we're doing it. 
posters all over. Wait, anti-hag what? Anti-hag support group. There's a hag here? Oh god. That's really not good for anyone. Housing the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. I disagree. Are the gods truly this petty? They are, Shadowheart. They are. Let's go inside now. Hopefully we're not too late. I don't see anyone, not yet. Facemaker's Boutique. Wob. Wait, hold on, your name. W-O-B-B. -B. And another one, Gudge. Oh, there's so many here. Could there be even more? Let's check briefly. It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors, nail files. So many cuts one couldn't make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall transcend. You know how the saying goes, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I don't know if that's always true. Maybe not every single time. Sometimes you just need to look at a red dwarf with a bunch of piercings and scars on his face and go, hey, you know what? That's a bit different. All right. We're not going to kill anyone outside of these doppelgangers and that red dwarf. I could try to stay quiet, but I'm just going to go out there and shout. I can't really stay quiet. I've got, well, you can't see it, but we do have armor equipped. I would have disadvantage. Stop right there, criminal scum. A challenger. My lord tests me. Mine too. This pity is awful. Will be your grave challenger. Okay, I am a challenger. It shall not be my grave, though I did open up the wrong door. Crap. I'm actually incredibly far away at the moment from where I need to go. That's going to change up the battle quite a bit. Okay, Asterion, you'll need to get in there somehow. Let's go over here. We've got to hit someone. Okay, Dolor, what do you have? You're right by them. 10 HP, 115. If he doesn't hit Figaro, they're going to be okay. But if he does, he's dead. That'll be it for him. I can't do too much. I could use an arrow of darkness to try to keep him alive. Maybe that'll work out. Let's try that. Asterion, there. Another witness to my sacrament. How fortunate. Yeah, fortunate for me. I'm not in danger. Call a medic. But it won't be for me. All right. Let's begin by hitting someone. We can't really do too much here right now. We've used up our bonus action for jump. Well, no, sorry. I can't move far enough. But I'm able to actually dash. So we'll do that. I'll miss out on one attack. But that's okay. Now we get to move in a little bit closer. There we go. Dread Ambusher. Disadvantage. Ooh. They're giving me a tough one today. I could just go in and start, you know poking about a little. Yeah, we'll do that. He's going to be all alone, but that's okay. 17 damage. Let's strike again. Thank you, Asterion. Wonderful work. And so our enemy has been blinded. Though, again, he's outnumbered. We've got, let's see, one doppelganger, two, three, then we've got Dolor. Four enemies total. Meanwhile, we have how many out over here? Oh, we've got issues. Oh, yeah. But not nearly as many. We're done. Dolor, your turn. I will save your final breath. Ha, you missed. 
but then you did hit Asterion for 26 damage. That is a lot of damage. That's really, really bad. Okay, Shadowheart, it's her turn. And I like how people are having a pretty general conversation outside. They're not really too fussed about what's happening in here. They're like, yeah, a normal standard day in Baldur's Gate. Murder? <laughs> Sounds about right. Someone trying to destroy the city? Yeah, that's every Tuesday. All right, let's begin to run now. It's time for a bit of running. We're gonna use a push of speed just to be able to run around at least a little bit, right? We got one. I could try to move away. That would be an issue. I could try to use command. Oh, that could be fun. Let's try that out. A level two command. You're able to see how powerful these abilities are. All right, you've been hit by four stacks of radiating orb. Maybe that'll be okay. You missed? Ha ha ha. Okay. Let's go inside. Can I get close enough? No, not quite. I'll move over here then. We got him. Nice. 21 damage. He's in a bad place. And I'm happy about it. All right. Turn over. Back over to Gudge. Woy. Arrow of Darkness. Improved warding player. Blinded. But that hurts all of them as well. Jahira, it's your turn. It's time. Let's begin. Attack over here. Ooh, a critical miss, but then a hit. Again after that, a critical hit. Halo of Spores. Jahira, you didn't quite make it, but that is okay. She's done for now. She's going to wait right there. Back to them. An arrow of acid. Oh, you hit one of your friends. Very smart on your part. She did take a decent amount of damage. Edrahill's turn. All right, Edrahill, let's go after Wob. Nobody loves Wob. Okay, a bonus attack. We need to get closer, so we'll have to jump. We'll take care of these idiots. Then we'll move on. Of course, I can't use my bonus attack after that. A miss, unfortunately. He's lucky. He's fortunate. Back over to Socks. All right, Asterion, your turn again. You've taken a lot of damage. We're going to have to be very, very careful, probably. Let's move over to this area. I don't know where Dolor went off to. I'll have to drink a potion just to stay alive. We want to keep people alive, or try to, of course. One attack. Prepare to die, roll. And so he did not roll, or their fault is roll. Yeah, maybe something like that. All right. We'll stay a bit closer just to bother them. Yeah, right there. Dolor, what shall you do? Ooh, 32 damage. Whoa, haste? Oh, crap. That's a danger. All right. Here comes our lovely Shadow Heart. She's going to move right into the darkness. But she's a light for all of us. And I mean all of us. Look at that. Blinded. Yeah, sure. It doesn't really matter. They've all been hit by Radiating Orb. After that, could I actually... No, they're not humanoid, but he is. He's a humanoid. I could try a level 2 casting hold person. Let's try that. He made his save. Good for him. What about a good halting? Yeah, a good halting would be great. We'll try to hit at least three of them. Oh, you're out of my line of sight. Never mind. Okay, we'll have to go back down. Well, I'm out of a level 2 casting, so I'll just try... Let's see here. A halt, level one. On you, boy. You've been halted. Okay, that's a good day. In turn, Gudge. A morphic ambush. But you can't hit Edrahill. He's smooth. He's got the moves. All right, let's go take out Gudge. We're just going to systematically eliminate our enemies. And so we have done so. Man, Asterion took so much damage again. How deadly. A ranged attack. I would have to move a bit closer. That darkness is an issue. One I do not much care for. What could I even throw right now? I don't have too much to throw, do I? No, not really. I'll have to go back and do something else, I suppose. Yeah, let's get out of here. Halo of Spores, that wouldn't reach. We'll just have to wait for a moment. Yeah, that's all. But that's okay. Melee weapons back out. Her turn is over. Back over to Edrahill, who's now gonna jump over here and, you know, do the whole hacking thing. All right, time to strike. Why, hello there. A critical hit. 
A devastating hit at that. A key. I'll take that. And a murderous masterpiece. Ah, let's read it real quick. We've got time. We killed that person. Sorry, that doppelganger so quickly that we have time. Let's see. Penultimate report. It's an honor and a privilege to watch this brother and ball in action. The setup for his final qualifying murder is brilliant and meticulous. After its inevitable culmination, I will be thrilled to join at the murder tribunal in acclaiming Dolore as an unholy assassin. It is done. That won't be happening, by the way. It won't be. All right, could I hit any of you? Could I reach any of you? I would need a bit more movement, unfortunately. I can't jump over there, but I'll try to move in. All right. Asterion, potion time, because you've got to if you want to stay alive. Let's continue attacking. Oh, not a good hit on Dolor. Two misses. Man! And he's got haste for three more turns. His turn again. A throw. Oh. Hold on. You're paralyzed and so is Asterion. Are you mad? I mean, I don't mind. I'm not mad about your decisions. They just seem a bit strange. Dumb, even. All right, let's see here. We don't want any evil, any darkness around us. A sphere? Okay, let's try that out. Let's try that out. Blinded. Okay, I'll try it again. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back over here. If not, I'll just hit my weapon. Yoink! No more darkness. Not for anyone. And we're not done. You know what's going to happen today, my dear enemy. You're going to die. Animate dead? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. I like that idea. A skeleton, a zombie, a ghoul, a flying ghoul. I've not used that before. Do I need to... We need more space. We can't reanimate these enemies, maybe. Or we just need more space where they're dead at. Okay, well, that's fine. I was all excited, too, but that's okay. You know what? Guardian of Faith. Do I have room for that? A little bit. All right. Try to do something. I dare you. Spiritual weapon. We'll bring it out. Done. I'll throw some water later to get rid of that acid. All right. Unarmed strike. Oh, you idiots. Wait, why don't you have any weapons? I mean, oh, like monks, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here. Shocking grasp. An opportunity strike. You've been shocked. All right. Let's go back in, Jahira. Let's go after Dolor. Ooh! Oh my god, Jahira! I've turned you into a monster! Yeah, no kidding. Oh my god. Jesus! I mean, God! Or Helm! Not Ball. <laughs> that was a test. Not Ball. Alright, let's finish off Dolor. And he's dead. But now we have another enemy to go after. An idiot. How many idiots? We got, let's see, that one. And only one idiot left. Oh, good news. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. We've done it. I should have known it would be you. Thank you. If it had been the dwarf alone, we might have stood a chance. But these doppelgangers, oh, they swarmed us. We were paralyzed before we even had the chance to fight back. I think daylight is a spell that just summons in some LED bulb that's way too bright. You know what I'm talking about? You go into like a school or a hospital or some stores and they just have those just sterile white lights. You can almost hear the hum just going on and you're like, ah, please, too much. I feel like a stereo and a vampire. All right, let's see. You're talking to a Starian, but not Edrahil? That's a bit rude. That's okay. Those doppelgangers are tracking his progress. Apparently, this one is a rising star among Ballas. A rising star, you say? Then perhaps it's a good job I ran into him. I was on my way to the upper city when I heard a commotion. I stepped in to see if I could help. It's not every day you have the chance to catch a killer in action. Not even in this profession. These killings aren't random. In fact, they seem to be part of some sort of test. That document you showed me before, 
The one with the victim's names on it? That was the briefing. The killers paralyze their victims, take their hands as an offering for Baal, and make it look like the cult of the Absolute was behind it all. It grants them access to a tribunal. From what I could gather, it's some sort of rite of initiation for aspiring cultists to prove their worth. And it's taking place beneath Candle Hallow's tombstones. Like I said before, it's not something I can look into in an official capacity. But you... Yeah, I'll do that. But tell me about Candle Hallow's tombstones. Any idea where that is? It's not a place I'd ever heard of, if I'm honest. But rumor has it there were some hidden cellars somewhere near the Elf Song. Good to know. There's a lot going on by the Elf Song. We'll go back there in just a little while. I'll take a look into it. And I'll pick up where I left off. The Upper City. When I'm done, I'll stop by the Basilisk Gate. If you... Oh. I don't know what happened. Is she left? Oh, okay. She's like, yeah, I'm busy. I'm leaving right now. No, that's fine. You could have said goodbye, but that's okay. All right, let's throw some water just over here. I'll talk to Figaro. He sells clothing. Oh, I could get some new dyes. Who knows? Maybe later I'll be looking quite smashing. I mean, we often do. We dress up. We, we clean up pretty well. We do okay around here, right? All right, let's go talk to him. Maybe he'll even give me a discount. I won't push for one, but it would be nice. Hold on. I must say... I'm damn lucky you showed up when you did. Can you believe what that monster was doing? Free dental care? Yeah, probably. Uh, unfortunately, yes. I've been hunting him for quite some time. Truly? Then you're made of sterner stuff than I, friend. I'll confess, it terrified me greatly. Can you imagine dressing entirely in red? <laughs> Jests aside... Thank you. You forever have my humblest gratitude and a most generous discount on my wares. You kind and beautiful soul. Glad to see you in good spirits, Figaro. I love your name, by the way. In the face of such horror, I don't see that I have much choice. Now, how may I help you today? You cannot. I'll come back later, thank you. We have done what we came here to do. We took out a grave enemy, but we're not done. We need to have a look at the body of Dolor. Dolores? A handbag. <laughs> Get it? Because there's hands in the... Oh, dear God, that's dark. Okay, I'll take that. We've got some poisons, okay. We've got a potion of sleep, a potion of supreme healing, of course, always needed, and a dagger plus two. Shiny, beautiful, useless to me. What else do we have? We've got... The Dolor Amorous. When you land a critical hit with this weapon, it deals an additional 7 damage. Okay, 1d4. Well, that's from me, I think, that fire damage. But anyway, got that. We've got Scarlet Leather Armor. A plus 1 bonus to stealth checks. I think I have one that provides like plus 3 or some crazy stuff. And Space Hunt Boots. Ooh. Or Space's Hunt Boots, rather. A Dimension Door. Don't know when I could use it or when I would use it, but hey, options. A torn and bloody page. Okay. Neath Candle Hollow's quiet tombs lies a path to murder's boons. If entry down below is your aim, seek trigger hidden by a frame. Sicarius, the door awaits to admit those who seek their fates. If to continue, you insist. Shrew, 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 haha, show a trophy rent from wrist. Of sacrifice for our lord planned. Present death's night, a bloodied. And there it is, a smear of blood. We know, a bloodied hand. Thank you. A passphrase, Sicarius, and a location. We should find this candle hallow place. Hopefully it's not candle jack. Scream. If anyone gets that reference, I will be so happy. I'm old, okay? I'm getting old. I'm not old, but I'm getting older. And <laughs> anyway, from a show called Freakazoid. But don't mention Candle Jack. You'll get into trouble. All right. We've done a major, major job. I like Devella. She's a good one. I like her. She is a good investigator. 
a good member of the city. I mean, how many members of the Flaming Fist have we met so far who have been just absolute garbage? Just either horrendous people or useless in general. I don't know which one's a greater crime. So what we're gonna do, I think, is quite simple. I think we'll go back to the tavern, sure. We could do that right now. And we could investigate the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Why would I want to do that? Well, totally for a change, to have a brief break. We did a lot so far. We do need to rest up eventually. So that might be a good way to just find out what they're gonna write about me. Also, if I long rest right now, I'm evidently gonna be featured on the next edition of the Gazette. So if I don't do it now, who knows what they're gonna write about me? Well, I do know, it's bad. Whatever it is, it's bad, it's not good. We know that they're a bit corrupted at the moment. You've got some good people trying to do good work, but unfortunately, Gortash, he's everywhere. That foolish arms dealer. All right, so we'll head back over there. There they stand, Baldur's Mouth. Ha! Huh. Baldur's Mouth. I get it. Very funny. All right. We'll have a very polite conversation for a moment. Whoa. There's a lot going on here. Who are you? Celine. I'm glad you asked. Hey, cut it out, will you? I've got deliveries to manage. Okay, I didn't do anything. They have a lot of guards. Are they in danger? Maybe so. All right, so we're trying to find their editor. And he's where? Is he? Hold on. The editor. Is he out here? I don't believe so. He's got to be upstairs, I would imagine. Somewhere else. I wonder, I am worried about things not going our way. We've got greater scrolls of invisibility. That could be the key for sure. Yeah, do I need to jump up here and go somewhere else? I mean, oh, it looks like there's a door up here anyway. Dear God, it's a pretty large room. All right, let's go down. There he is, Edvard Needle. Edvard, greetings. Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. Lincoln? Huh. And hold on. I would rather not be in your paper at all. Well, you should have considered that before disgracing yourself in public. Trafficking refugees into our city is hardly a good look. Especially when so many are absolutists and murderers. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. Oh my god. You are a terrible editor, by the way. Oh boy. Who told you this nonsense? I would never reveal my sources, and certainly not to the likes of you. Besides, you're too late. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, let's go. It would certainly help oh, don't worry. We're just going to leave. We'll go back home. <laughs> okay. You can write whatever you want. Joke. I'm not going to let him. We're going to sneak in. Yep, let's go, gang. We're just going to have a good drink and forget about what just happened. Afternoon. I'll never forget. Okay, we're going to have Asterion sneak in from behind. We know that we don't need to go inside. We don't need to go upstairs, but there's a basement. That much is clear. It's all very well guarded. Hold on. I need a potion. I've got over here some potions of speed. What else do we have? A potion of feather fall. That might be handy. And Asterion, you're ready. I do believe you are. All right, pass without trace. 
We won't need that. I Why, would hope yes, not. Edvard. Let's go up. Can I call you Edvard? Well, Edvard, okay. I do support That you. means I need to find a way to get into that basement. Inside would be insane. I don't need to go through these doors. It'll just lead to where we know things to be, and we don't need to worry about that. So let's try to just look around and see what we have. There's got to be a way to get down there. There's no way they want me to just fight through them. Is there a door here? No, not there. Okay. Over here, no. That's just Wait, hold on. We've got barricades. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's jump over and attack. Very simple, very easy. All right. Here's a ledge. We're able to jump down. We'll do that. There's a start, but we're not done yet. Back to my tactical camera view. Very challenging for sure. All right. So we've got a potion of feather fall. I don't want to take any damage. We've also got, let's see. We're kind of in shadow a little bit, not fully, but just a little bit. I do have, yeah, I'm going to go invisible for a moment and go down because I've got to. Perfect. Next, we go down. We're in the basement. I can hear a steel watcher. Oh, hold on. There's two of them. Well, that's really bad. All right. So we'll need to go down over here, which means I need to use turn based mode in just a moment. I've got my greater scroll of invisibility. I've got a potion of speed as well. So we'll use it all. That's what we've got to do, I think. A potion of speed. Time for my scroll. And we are good. So now, we only need to just run through, I suppose. We don't need to go too far, do we? I would hope not. I could use Misty Step. But hold on. I need to dash. That's what I need to do. I'm probably a bit too far away. I'm hoping that I won't be close enough for these steel watchers to see us, but if I am, I'm done. That's it for me. Oh, God. All right, we're doing fine. Please be the room I need to go inside of. Let's have a quick peek. If not, we'll end our turn in here, then move to another room afterwards. I don't see what I need in here. I do see a gilded chest, but for now, in their turn, their turn. We don't want to miss out on our haste, nor our greater invisibility, which appears to be fine. They can't seem to see me. A dash again. I hope that continues. If it doesn't, I'm dead, as you well know. Oh, God. Greater invisibility, please carry me. We are getting closer to another room. All right. That's it, right? Hold on. Let me have a look at that. That's got to be it, I think. Let me get in here. Thankfully, I've got my glasses. So I'm able to see a little bit more. Okay. Let's just have a look around. What do we have in here? The cutest cat you've ever seen. That's a good story. I think that would make for a great story. But hold on. Let's look around. Make big money by trading with adventurers. Ooh. Okay. We could... The block has a board sheet article engraved upon it. It speaks positively of you. Yeah, okay. All right. What about over here, that crate? Vacant as an orc skull. Okay, nothing there. So I've got that. Here's a wooden chest. I'm only trying to figure out where to put things. Some tools. I don't see anything I'm able to click on right now unless I'm just being blind, which is very much a possibility. Oh, what's over here? Some like... Oh, I see. I could have gotten in through that area. Oh, okay. Hold on. I've got that. I'm about to be out of my invisibility. Hilarious, even. I don't know where I'm going. I do see other rooms, but now that I've gotten that, let's just wait over here. Ooh, terrifying. Okay. 
Back over to my scroll. There's my turn based mode. We're gonna dash and we're just gonna move in. I know I'm gambling a little bit. Wait, do I really need more movement? Oh God, don't tell me that. No, dash, we're fine, we are fine. Oh my God, what is in here? Okay, a bunch of prints. That's what we have, but nothing that I need. A blank canvas. I can't really go any further until I end my turn. So let's go inside and end our turn. All right, they're not doing too much. One is turning around, that's good. Let's see, a public danger, not me. Official print job. I wonder if I should take something like that just to ruin any work done of Gortash. I was wondering where they came from. That's good city building. That might be worth a look. Oh, heck yeah. We got it, finally. Yeah, I was wondering where it was at. But we got it. Took me a moment. I think we're safe in here. Yeah, I believe so. I think we'll be okay. Let's have a look around. Let's see. We've got... What else? A notice of termination for who? Oh. That's very rude. Fired without pay. What a jerk. What a freaking jerk. Alright, so I think I've got what I need. Let's just go click on it. You approach the printer, noting its ink splots and intricate cogs. Before you can get closer, however, it begins to speak. Oi! Gormless! Over here! Thought I recognized you. Dolly 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 was right. You aren't much of a looker. Oh, very rude. How do you know Dolly? Do you remember Dolly, that little pixie from Act 2? They were in that Moon Lantern and, and we set them free. We both love cheeky words. She does all the shouting, I do the writing. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Dolly can't stop talking about you. <laughs> hero this, hero that, hero here, hero there. <laughs> Hello, hero. You know, there's some absolute filth about you in tomorrow's edition. <laughs> Seeing as you were kind enough to free Dolly, how's about I do you a favor? Why don't we change the headline? We can load up something a bit less damaging for your reputation. I'm talking to a printing press. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, first, I've got to release the old nasty top story. Look there. <laughs> now, you've got to find a new article to replace it. I've got one, sure. Let's get started. How delightful. Man, that worked out. I'm glad we saved Dolly. Imagine if we didn't. It's cool to have prior decisions actually pay off with a positive consequence. Yeah. That's what the people need to know. <laughs> of course, Asterian would do that for us. All right. We've done that. They have been stopped. Let's have a look then. All right. Tomorrow's paper should no longer damage our reputation. Wonderful. That's what I was hoping Paper's for. Paper's printing right now, pal. Should be on the streets tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, they're gonna be angry. So very angry, but that's okay. All right, so now we just need to get back out. That won't be too difficult. We're just gonna head back out and of course go back to our camp. It's time for a good long rest, I think. Yeah, I just need to use my scroll, run back, get out of here and have a great day. Now that we've made it out, Time for a bit of lock picking. In turn, base mode, of course. Asterion did it again. If only you didn't want to ascend as a vampire. If only you were not a vampire. All right, we're done here. Goodbye. Oh, wrong door. Need to go out. Oh, hold on, hold on. Actually, 
We should probably go back to turn-based mode. Yeah, they've locked a door to me. So, we'll come over here, lockpick a door again, run out, and have no worries. A DC of 20, jeez. That's a lot. Nothing happened. All is well, all is good. And we've got some plausible deniability, provided they cannot find Asterion. We've done nothing. The door is locked to us. You imagined a door opening on its own. That wasn't us. All right, that feels good. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to go over to the tavern and talk to Althera. Yeah. Hello. She's upstairs. That's where I want to go. So that's where we'll go for sure. Let's see. We've done all the work that we need to, I think, for the moment. I'm always worried about long resting whenever you've got doppelgangers about. Journal updated. That keeps happening. I don't I really think anything is changing. At least I hope not. I know I'm not too late, am I? No. Alright. Up we go. There's a ladder. Perfect. Alright. Where is she? I... Yeah, over here. Okay. I was wondering. Ah, you found my hiding spot. Not a word to Alan. He doesn't believe in things like breaks. Or eating. Lacrissa, I'd be more than happy to help you out at work. I could... No, focus on your music. Besides, I'll be living a life of luxury when your school takes off. That's true. If you need help, just say the word. No need. I'm looking after my girl, Althera. Isn't that right, sweetie pie? Lacrissa! All right. The hero and I will stop teasing. For now. They are adorable. They're great. All right. No now we get to I go to bed. For a moment. Only a moment. I mean, there should not be too much that we need to do that's adjacent to us outside of what's over here. But we've got to be careful because, of course, we'll need Shadowheart and we'll have to handle all of that. Ah, there it is. Candle Hollow. That's where we'll need to go. I do want to find Jahira's friend. Yeah, maybe I'll try to do that very soon. But for now, to camp. It's time for a long rest for once. Oh yeah, look at that handsome mug. I wonder who brings it here. I have no idea. Never wanted Let's go to talk path. to a few of our friends. Mazora, I keep forgetting that you're here. That's so weird. I don't like it. All right, who do we have? We've got Shadowheart. We'll talk to her in just a moment. Jahira first. Ah, oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. As do I. He's protected by his steel watch for now. And Orin will have her own defenses, should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. No, thank you. We're not allied to him. Let him do whatever he wants. He's only safe for a moment because we didn't want collateral damage. Could we have taken on everyone there? I think we could have. It would have been challenging. I probably would have changed up my gear quite a bit. Some bludgeoning. We would need some lightning. Many, many other tools too. And what do you think of his warning? Of the doppelganger in our camp? It would be irritatingly true to form. We did not. Hmm. A Harper learns to doubt. To peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, <laughs> that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say. Isn't it? Yeah, it would be, huh? Have you thought any more about how we might find Minsk? I have. 
And while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine fingers keen. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. The mysterious Keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. The guild? No, I won't judge her for that decision. I do understand it. I didn't think a harper would be friends with a petty crime lord. Friend is not the word I'd use. Nor is petty if you've a mind to keep your tongue. But both our operations step outside the law when needful. She just likes it better there. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall. Huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. Yeah, maybe that'll be a good idea. Jahira is so much fun, I really do wish we had her from the very beginning. Her dialogue, her personality, it is so much fun. Our other druid, I mean, not really my thing. He doesn't really vibe with me at all. I would rather have Jahira than him by a long shot. All right, let's go. And we'll talk to Will. He's back home after all. Welcome to the lower city, where Baldur's Gate truly comes alive. Sure, okay. That's it. All right, pal. Shadowheart? Since we arrived in the city, I can't help but feel a little... anxious. But I'm not sure I know why. Oh boy. There's a lot. We have plenty to be anxious about. The tadpoles, the armies of the absolute. There's so much. Thank you. Now I have plenty of specifics to worry about. That wasn't what I meant, though. Okay, I know. I'm teasing. Tell me what's on your mind. I could go on, but that'll be sufficient. I don't think it's what happens if we fail that concerns me. We'll be beyond our worries at that point. I think what bothers me is what happens if we succeed. I've never been able to write my own future. I wouldn't even know where to begin. A day at a time. Every single step is what matters more than anything else. The ones that you're currently taking, of course. Ah. Okay. Why not begin or start at the beginning? Imagine it's the day after we defeat the Absolute. What then? Well, I want to save my parents, of course. Take them away. Far from Shah's influence. Someplace peaceful. Away from the city, perhaps. Go on. I like room for animals. Lots of them. All shapes and sizes, so long as they appreciate a warm fire and more affection than they know what to do with. Adorable. Don't stop now. What else? I want to grow flowers. I want to be surrounded by colors every day. I'm tired of darkness. Anything else? Yes. I want to share it all with you. If you're willing. <laughs> of course I'm willing. Of course. Then it sounds like I have everything I need. More of life than I'd ever imagined possible without Shaw. Wow. That was good. That was a lot. Whew, that got me. That was a tender moment. Now to ruin it all, let's talk to Mazora. Here we go. The sarcasm, the quips, it all continues right now. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Little Will? Huh. All right, look. Will's not a child. You need to start treating him with respect. I beg your forgiveness for such undue impertinence. From now on, I promise him the same measure of respect he's shown his father. Oh, I almost forgot. 
Will sold his father's life for his freedom. <laughs> My mistake. One day, I only want Edrahill to respond with a right hook. Just bam. Hit her hard, hit her fast. She deserves it for sure. They keep phrasing it as if he's abandoning his father. It's not a great trade at all. He has already sacrificed so much, and he was willing to do so. He probably would have done so had I not pushed him to do something else. Ugh. I don't get it. If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? Just because he's not my pet doesn't mean he's not useful. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Okay, and you would use me to do that. That's pretty funny. What can you tell me about the Hells? The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus, my mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Oh, really? Are you interested? Andrew Hill wouldn't be surprised. He would say, get in queue, get in line. Anyway, you have left Karlak alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. That's coming from you. <laughs> Funny. You never told me how the Absolutists captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel, but those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead after all. I really hate to say it, but I would love it if we had some manner of adventure into the Hells where Mazora and Raphael joined Edrahil. How insane would he become? Oh my god, he would lose his mind. These two just bickering back and forth and of course all the smarm and oh, it would be great. It would be great. If you're going to be saying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. One whole hand? Okay. I won't try to tell her to leave. I know it's not going to work. Why waste my time? All right. Let's talk to, not Withers, nope, Lazel. I'm going to bring her. Yeah, I'll bring Jahira, Lazel, and who was it? Not Asterian. Maybe Asterian. Gel. He's a possibility. I'll think about it. Who knows? Because we're going to have to go find that Thieves' Guild. So I do need to structure my team before we go down there. This is the city proper, is it? I didn't expect it to be so outrageously... ordinary. Yeah, for you that would be true. Voss has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. 
We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. Agreed. I do agree. I would have people join now, but what I do in between each part, I've got to manage my inventories, I've got to sort out my loot, I've got to organize so much loot. I organize by weapons, cloaks, shields, helmets, gloves, boots, and so on. That really takes me a lot of time. I try not to leave a mess because I want to be able to quickly find things. Sure, I could type in a search bar, but often I forget. I've got to visually see it or I forget. I'm trying to work on my memory, but there's only so much I'm able to do so quickly. I try to make it easy on myself. In fact, I keep a little like notepad where I take notes about things I need to do. I take notes about what we're doing, what clues we have, names that stand out, Sicarius, things like that. That way, whenever it comes up, I can look at my notepad and go, oh, hey, yeah, that. And it really helps me out when it comes to puzzles. I use it in actual tabletop. And of course, I'm nearly a forever DM. I've gotten to play more here and there, but I like doing that. It's fun. The whole thought process, trying to figure things out, trying to think about what ties together. Like, it trusts them. If I see anything magical, who do I bring? Gail? I mean, it tracks. It works out. Okay, Karlak. Hey. I made it back. <laughs> I'm here. Thank the gods. Thank the gods. I'm just saying, thank the me, but all right. Yeah, I feel like Karlak has a bit less to her story overall when it comes to just the general narrative for her, especially in comparison to other characters. I know that she was at it much later on. I hope that in time we do see a lot more for a few companions who could use a bit of love, Karlak especially, but that's my own personal view. I mean, she grew up here, right? All right, now for our fancy friend. The bustle here takes some getting used to. <laughs> Crackling fire and a tressum for company is usually more my speed. Still, we must flow with the current we find ourselves in, however tumultuous it may be. If you've need of me, I'm glad to help. Good to know. Thank you. I mean, I would like for him to join us because we also want to go to that bookstore. There's going to be many great stores that I need to visit. All right, what else do we have over here? We've got a stereot. God, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. No kidding. Are you all right? Hmm? Yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Did you see him just now? When you don't know what to do with your hands. <laughs> yeah, wait there. All right. That's pretty much everyone that I want to talk to. It's about time for us to go to bed, to have a good rest, and to hopefully have no interruptions. That would be great. I want to thank all of you for watching. Again, your support means a lot. I know, we've been here for a little bit, we've got more story to tell, more stories to just generally explore together, and I'm looking forward to all of it, and I hope that you are as well. Don't forget, I do read your comments. I'm always checking for your feedback. I'm always trying to just take in whatever information that you have and processing it. Then maybe eventually it'll reflect my gameplay or what I do in the future. And also, it's nice to see good support, right? It's always helpful. It encourages me. It keeps me going. And it just keeps me just wanting to do this. To know that people enjoy seeing what I put out here, that's a great pleasure. It's a thrill and a pleasure. For those of you who do support me on Patreon, YouTube membership, or whatever else, thank you so much. Of course, I have enough people who watch me to where I'm able to do this as my main focus and all of that. And any support that you do provide helps me so very much. So, as you know, I try not to really plug too much in the very beginning of a video or in the middle. I do save it for the very end when I know that most people are gone. So for those of you who are hearing it, just know that you have my emphatic, my heartfelt thanks. Oh man, it's awesome. Anyway, I'm back, ready to go, and as always, 
Until then. Oh dear god, what now? I only wanted to go to bed. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillmane, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. No, I don't like that. We're not allies. We are not friends. You do a great impression of a human, but you're not fooling me. Your distrust of me will be your undoing. Would it make a difference if I let you read my thoughts? It would not. You're an expert at mental manipulation. I wouldn't trust anything you show me. I will take that as a yes. I said no. relationship we could have had. Aren't you glad I finessed my methods? But since you insist on thwarting my craft, let us be blunt. You are my puppet. Make no mistake, without me you have no value. You will take me to the brain because you have no other choice. And once we are there, you will do exactly what I tell you to. And you would do well to reconsider unlocking your potential. Your puerile attachment to your material form jeopardizes us all. If I must, I will force you. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> Finally, the mask drops. And you put so much effort into it. We are done here. We are. A little preview for tomorrow. Edrahill has gotten a haircut. And he's also got a clean shave going on. Don't worry, it all grows back quickly. Jahira, Lazel, Gel, they'll all come to join us. Oh, and not too far from the tavern is an old friend of ours. Let's go say hello. I've been selling so many items and I've been having to find traders who have gold. Look who it is. Later, we'll bring by Karlak. Forge of the Nine? How fancy. Thank the gods. I should have known you'd make it to the city all right. But you never know. That's right. Nice workshop you have here. Uh, I'm shocked by my good fortune, quite honestly. Uh, rent is fair, and the setup is just what I need to start making a living again. Without you, I'd be dead in a ditch twice over. Instead, I have my own smithy in the city. At least, until the Absolute's army rose us down. But hey, anything could happen in the meantime. Optimism, right? That's right. I would like to have a look at your wares. Of course. Wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. I've got most of my gold back at camp. 
Oh dear god. Legacy of the Masters. Some new boots too. Some great armor. I'm gonna put that on, I think. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of great stuff. We're gonna wear some new gear tomorrow for sure. I just wanted to be sure that you knew where I got it from. Our good buddy here. Man, he came a long way. If he died, he wouldn't be here to provide such good loot for us. And also, we're happy that he's still alive. Alright, that's finally it. I promise.